on everybody this is John Hester here I am giving a first impression of the first drive first impression of the Kraftwerk supercharger this is on a 4C KRX special edition 2023 with 35s so I got super ATV uh, 35s on here with some fuel feed lock wheels oh, we got we got a few other stuff but I just want you know want to kind of see um, we're testing with the stock clutch just to see how right now it's just to see how it's going to run well we've got some run in time idling free revving I mean we've been doing a lot of that just making sure that everything is perfect the fueling is perfect the flash is perfect as far as the feel of fueling and everything so of course my fuel gauge is flashing here because uh, I don't have a whole lot of fuel in it but I'm going to take you I'm at 181 degrees so engines at full temperature I just wanted to make sure we are at full temp as you can see it's only got two miles on it um, like I said I mean it's got more time than miles actually you know it's got more hours than miles because I wanted to test for all that so we are in full power mode you can see low power full power this is just uh, two-wheel drive this is just all the the winch and the uh, selection stuff because this is with the electronic suspension on here now we're gonna go up to this intersection here this intersection here I know for a fact that from this intersection which is completely straight we're at 7,000 foot altitude it's about 45 degrees outside right now uh, we have a I'm facing east no cars behind me. now I know on a stock two seat KRX with 31's bone stock I can reach the next intersection literally right at 60 miles an hour so in one intersection KRX can do 60 miles an hour let's see what a supercharged four seaters on 35s can do with stock clutching. Here we go. doing more videos but I just wanted to do a the first full throttle pull just want to give you that first full impression you can definitely tell the torque difference is quite a bit now of course keep in mind the speedometer is not accurate with 35s I'm doing my ground speed is faster than what the speedometer is reading so even though it said 55 I was probably doing 60 61 if I was to you know calculate in between the 31 and the 35 looking good sounding good like I said you know stock exhausts like I said we're you know 7,000 foot altitude so that extra boost you know I, I just I came into the throttle I didn't just flat mash it but you know because like I said everything is everything's new I'm still filling it out and everything um, we got some different we, did, we got different springs on this and I haven't finalized the spring settings or anything so it's a little bit high in the back right now but I don't know we're probably I don't know 20 21 inches or more better in the back right now with the 35s but I got to get it to, to settle down a little bit more in the back like I say we just we just got them on there 
and the main thing is is just getting the, the KRX out we're you know running time getting everything settled in on the engine just to make sure it's perfect uh, this customer is going a long ways this vehicle is going to Costa Rica so we don't want any issues with this thing we want to make sure you hear the fan kicks on so you know but max operating temperature for the fan to kick on you can see it's 186 right now 185 dropping quick because it's so cold out all this is we just have it sitting up here because we're still still finalizing everything you know getting everything finalized on all this stuff here so but you can feel the torque difference. You can, be, I mean, with this much weight on 35s, it it feels like a stock two-seater on 31s. You know what I mean? I, it's kind of what it feels like me. I mean, the torque feels a little bit harder pull on torque, but I mean, we're pulling a whole lot more weight with a much higher gear ratio with 35s. So I just want to do a quick first impression you got to see the first full throttle pull on this machine just to kind of see like I say I, I hit that intersection at, at 55 on the dash which of course is inaccurate because of 35s you know um, we're gonna be setting all that up but at least my worries is an accurate speedometer right now because you know the build is complete now it's just run in testing making sure everything is perfect before the customer takes delivery because I, I don't just build a machine and throw it out the door and say there you go I make sure we give a proper rundown make sure everything is working correctly everything's set up correctly so um, and get that all done so I just wanted to give you guys a first impression just so you can kind of see it kind of get to you know hear it see the acceleration see the pull so if, if you have a four seat krx and you see the acceleration numbers you know how it compares to to yours i mean it's it's quite noticeable it's quite noticeable i wish yeah i, I do have another krx4 in back there so um if that one's not sold by the time this one's done like I said, I, I want to do more videos. I want to do some running videos versus a stock four-seater. And I actually want to take a stock two-seater uh, and run it up against this too. Just just so you can kind of see the difference of pull, you know, in that. But I, I can guarantee you, I could, if I took that stock four-seater out, this thing would just eat its lunch. It'd be gone. Because it's, you know, it definitely pulls a lot faster. So... The, you know difference between the 31 which the 31 is not a true 31 on the Maxxis carnivores and being the 35 here uh, quite a bit more closer to a true 35 um, yeah I would say uh, I'd say as at least a good five miles an hour or more faster than what the speedometer said because the taller gear ratio is going to change your your speedometer and you're actually going your ground speed you're cheating the speedometer essentially your ground speed is faster than your speedometer dash is actually showing because of the difference in ratio so um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that quick little quick pull of the supercharged four seat KRX with 35 stock clutch um, I don't know if we're gonna be doing anything with the clutching at this point um, we shall see but I, I don't think it needs it. For what the customer wants, this is, this is way more than enough. Way more. Um, it's it's going to pull... It's going to pull like a you know two-seater on stock tires and a, and a good EC flash on stock clutching. I mean, you do some different clutching and a flash on a two-seater. Yeah, you might beat this in a, in a drag race, but... I mean, it's a whole lot more weight pulling and the different ratio and stuff, so pulls really nice so thank you all for watching be sure to subscribe hit that like comment below like I say we're gonna have more videos on this before it's out for delivery thank you all for watching God bless